In two days, the United States and the world will pause to remember the events of September 11th, 2001, and remember the feelings that we all shared that day. Here in Lexington, people at the Kentucky Blood Center remember the outpouring of support they received in the days following 9-11. LEX 18's Evelyn Schultz spoke with two people who were forever changed by what they witnessed. The photos helped tell the story Martha Osborne will never forget. Hundreds of miles from the World Trade Center, she watched as people showed up on 9-11 to help how they could. Immediately they knew there might be a need for blood. We just filled up from that moment on for days. Thousands of people showed up to give blood that day. The line wrapped around the building. At some points, people waited for four hours. That didn't stop anyone from giving. One old photo even shows our LEX 18 crew interviewing people outside. Dan Pollock made an appointment on September 12th, his first time ever donating blood. He didn't mind the wait. A lot of other people with the same mindset that I had, they just wanted help. Nobody cared if they were waiting. Donating blood became personal for Pollock. His wife needed transfusions before she died from cancer in 2002. This was something that helped kick me into doing it. 20 years later, he's given nearly 80 units of blood, each pint a reminder of the day that spurred thousands of Kentuckians into action. Some days it feels like it just happened, other days it's a lifetime ago. Osborne hasn't stopped her work either, inspired by the people who showed up to give on 9-11. At that time we were all so in shock and so um, devastated and, and yet the public you know, got together and figured out one thing they could do to help. In Lexington, Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News.